They bellow, they bluster, they debate, they discuss, and in many ways they are devolving. They are the Republican Party, and our next guest warns that the party is dying right before our eyes. He said it on his website. He'll say it now, I'll bet. Always a pleasure to welcome back nationally syndicated radio talker, veteran actor, political analyst, one who sees through the haze of hubris. Jerry Doyle is back in the house. Good to see you, Jerry. You're looking good out there. Thank you. Here in the spring break capital of the world, Las Vegas, Nevada. Uh, that's a 365-day that's a spring break, having known it and been there many times. I caught your, your piece that you wrote, and when you were saying that the Republican Party is dying right before our eyes, Jerry, there are those people that would say, hang on a sec, Jerry. Yeah, they're having a problem. Yeah, they've got some bad times right now. But dying in front of our eyes, isn't that a little bit overdone? No, uh, figuratively and literally dying. Uh, a friend of mine works at Fox News. I won't give his name so we can keep his job. But 10 years ago when he went to Fox News, he said the average age of our viewer was 59. And you know that you always try and skew demos a little younger. 10 years later, 69. So the audience is figuratively and literally dying because they're getting older. And the grand old party is just that, old, white, right, and uptight. And when I look at this stupidity of these religious freedom laws in Indiana and now in Arkansas, well, Hutchinson said, pull that back, give me something else this isn't good. Walmart, Starbucks, uh, Angie's List, all these companies are coming out and saying, oh, no, this isn't the right way to go. They keep quoting, the Republicans keep quoting, well, you know, Bill Clinton signed this in 1993. Well, why didn't you do it then, Indiana, in 1993? Why didn't you do it, Arkansas, in 1993? Why are you pulling out the social issue card one more time in a year or so before the 2016 presidential election. Because the Republicans know they don't have the black vote. They know they don't have the Hispanic vote. They know they don't have the Asian vote. They, don't, they know they don't have the LGBT vote. And all they know what they have is what they have had, which has got them to the voting booth one more time. Let's roll out the social issues. God, gays, guns, and abortion. And woohoo, get me to the voting booth one more time. The way they're going about this, they're literally killing themselves. And apparently, they have no intention of trying to expand the tent that they talked about in that report that they put out after they took that old-fashioned political butt kicking in the last go-round. All right, Jerry, then if they see this, as you say, and it is all happening in front of them, then how are they being and why are they being so incredibly stupid then to not realize that, as you said and others have said this as well, that without that black, Hispanic, Asian, LGBT vote, you are not going to win the presidency. Why can't they see that in front of their face? Because the Republican Party has been hijacked by the right-wing religious extremist zealots, people that now own the vote for the primary. And the problem is, when you try and pander to that group for the primary, you're going to get those votes anyway. So why would you then want to alienate everybody else in the country? It's not what you're saying. It's not necessarily who you're saying it to. It's what people hear when you say things. It's what people hear or see when you're not talking to them. And there's a vast group of people in this country that just feel like the Republican Party just doesn't give a rip about them. And when you see these kind of headline-making decisions about these religious freedom laws in Indiana and Arkansas, people just go, nah, I'm out. So how do you expand the tent? I mean, all the great work that Rand Paul's been doing and going out to black uh, communities and going out to black colleges and people that are going out into different sectors that the Republican Party hasn't dealt with in the past, I guess they figure old, white, right, and uptight is the way to go or their only hope for 2016. But if they want to build themselves as a national party with an opportunity to build you know, a good base of candidates to go forward on a national election, it takes time. And maybe they're just trying to limp across the 2016 finish line one more time, just like they did. What do you got, 19 states now that are trying to push through these religious freedom laws? Mm -hmm. It's the same crap that Karl Rove did and George Bush back in 2004 with the whole same-sex marriage, got to ban the gays from getting married because they knew getting married. They knew that would get them to the voting booth. They knew their base would get all whipped into a frenzy. And look what's happened on the public sentiment on gay marriage since 2004. You look at the numbers in 04, 09. You look at the numbers in 2012. The country country has done a flip. The country is evolving. The country is changing. The Republican Party isn't. They're dying. There you go. What I said at the beginning, many ways devolving. You use that word right there. The nation's evolving, and maybe they need to evolve with it. Jerry, I'm all out of time, but I'll tell you what. You hit this one right on the head. It's an excellent piece on your website as well. We look forward to having you back. Don't forget, Jerry Doyle, nationally syndicated as well. Website address again is, Jerry? EpicTimes.com, because these are epic times. They are indeed. Always a pleasure, Jerry. Take care, my friend. Have a great day. When we come back, telling it like it is.